Welcome to today's episode of Rust Duck Garage. Hey, we're going to show you how to replace the seat cover on your 99 to 2006 Chevrolet Silverado, GMC Sierra, Suburban, Tahoe, etc. Pretty simple procedure. Uh, we're going to show you how we did it. On my latest project, a 2006 Chevrolet Silverado that is going to be our shop truck. All right, as you can see here in this truck, it's got leather interior. In 2006, uh, that was pretty pretty good uh, upgrade there. Got the uh, Bose stereo system in it, and it has a factory sunroof. All which... right, so we're gonna show you how to replace this uh, seat cover here. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos on it, and they say to remove the whole seat out of the vehicle. I did not do that. Uh, there's two two nuts. Uh, 13 millimeter up under here right in front of the seat that it pulled off and was able to pull the seat up so the seat pulls up then it slides out okay because there are two tabs here that lock it in the back uh -huh. and then on this seat with the options that this truck has there are four connectors this one is to do with the seat belt pretensioner which I had to pull this back and was able to unplug it in there. And there's another one with a warning light. And uh, this is, uh, not sure what all this one is for. But anyways, it's plugged in there. So we were able to reach underneath there and unplug those. Took a few minutes, but it really wasn't that hard. The driver's lower seat cover was in very bad shape. All right, I'm gonna pull this side cover off. Uh, I think we have a T15. Can't really see on that one. Anyways, uh, I believe these are T15. Yeah, I've got uh, three of them out already. Pull that off there, and this lever will come off here. And you can see it's got a slot there uh, that it only goes back in one way. And then there's these push-in clips down here on the bottom. Well, maybe we'll pull this out first. Get in behind here and unplug that thing. And there's our window, our power seat switch removed. That's off there. And then this cap here just pulls off of there. Somehow. There we go. Belt out there, and there's one clip in behind, and that will come all the way out. One, two, three, and then we can access our seat. And there's two uh, 13 millimeter nuts on the front of the seat that mount to the seat frame. And On the passenger side, we had uh, four electrical connectors. Uh, we'll see what we have here. And this simply comes up and you pull it forward. I think, yes, that's what she comes. Now, we gotta unplug all the wires underneath there. So we'll see what we find for wires, connectors. Okay, the power seat connector there. This guy here. I have to get us a light in there. So we can see what we got in there. Pull that guy out. And we had one, two, three, four connectors there. Again, we had one, two, three, four connectors. And just the two bolts in the front are nuts. And uh, these pins in the back here, one fell out. I'll be reinstalling that. Okay, on the underside of the seat here, you'll see the 
the connectors there a little closer up i could have unplugged it here and then stream this out of there but i thought it was easier the other way but you'll see a tab right here that will peel that back this one back this one back there's a couple of screws one on each side uh, then there's these little rails that slips on and i believe one in the front here okay you can see here this uh just kind of roll rolls up off of there there's a trim in there that holds it there onto the edge there in the middle in the same way in the front here it just rolls up off of there um these these down here do hold it down and then there's a one in the back that, that rolls up here and we'll we'll try to show you that here Then the Velcro in the center. And off she comes. It's a lot worse when you take off. And here I have the new cover. Uh, the color is not exactly right. Uh, we'll be painting that with some Sim paint, and I'll show you that process. Okay, you can see here that the seat is not the right color, not the right correct shade. Um, <clears throat> but I did get the correct color here. 17223, very dark pewter from Sim. Sim is a very reputable brand that we uh, used at the GM dealership when I worked there to paint parts on uh, new cars. So it, it's a uh, it's good stuff uh, and it does last a long time. And I was able to pick it up at the local auto parts house, but it's also available on Amazon and places like that. All right, and in the glove box, you have the option code list here. I haven't looked them all up. Uh, but... Regular production order code 69D, very dark pewter. So good stuff. What I did do is look up the RPO code of my interior and cross-reference it to this number to get the correct shade. And we're just gonna, we cleaned, we wiped it down, cleaned it, and now we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, spray it with the, with the Sim paint. <clears throat> the first coat I do will be a very light coat. And what that will do, we'll put put a little uh, paint on it there for the second coat to etch into, and then the third coat will be even a heavier coat, and it'll it'll etch in nice. Uh, but that first coat needs to be pretty light, and we're gonna let it uh, set for about 10 minutes in between coats. Oop, little tiger stripe there, but that'll cover up. I did add a little bit of uh, padding in behind this uh, where it was worn down um, to bring it up and it looks pretty good. When reinstalling the seat bottom, you have four connections. One here at the seat belt, one that plugs in here, one that plugs in there, also seat belt, and then the uh, big connector here uh, at the bottom of the seat. So four connections is what I have on this uh, particular truck. 
and this is an 06. Okay, I got my seat cover. It's all painted here now. Uh, turned out really nice. I really like the color. I think it matches very, very well. Uh, we'll install it here in the truck. Now on these seat covers, <clears throat> these edges up here are very, very sharp. And if you cut yourself on one of these ed edges, you're gonna wish that you'd had somebody else uh, replace that seat cover. You'd have paid them handsomely. But like I say, these things are sharp as a steak knife. So guys gotta be careful in doing that. But uh, we'll be hooking up uh, our connectors here. One, two, three, four again. And putting this thing right back in the truck. Piece of cake. Okay, we got the uh, seat back together, cover installed and uh, installed in the truck. And looks pretty good. I'm really happy with the outcome there. Uh, some of the wrinkles will settle down over time, but uh, come out really good here on the driver's side. I uh, did have to cut out for the uh, power window switch, but no big deal there. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And that seat, driver's seat, was in pretty bad shape there. We did buy those covers online. They were already stitched up and uh, fit pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. In our next upcoming videos on the uh, Rusty Duck Garage shop truck, we'll be going to be lowering the truck. Four inches in the front and six inches in the rear. And also, we're going to be removing the side moldings off that truck and doing some ongoing projects on it and thanks for watching if you would please hit that like share and subscribe button that'd really help us out and we'll catch you next time at rusty duck garage